6,000 square foot organic farm on a roof in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. We've been farming here since late April and that was when the soil came up and that was none too early and started planting peas I think only about two or three days, three days after the soil was installed. The project came to be by um, speaking with some of the rooftop developers and putting together a plan to grow food in the city and then we started putting together the, the project and they negotiated so I wouldn't have to pay any lease and then um, I could keep what I could sell. Good Green, which is an environmental green roofing company, a great group of folks that are really interested in helping with stormwater runoff problems in New York City, has been doing a lot of green roofing in New York for a while now and anytime you're going to establish a green roof, you have to check with an engineer first. You want to accommodate what the roof can bear. So we knew when we first figured this out with Good Green, uh, they brought an engineer in and they told us we could get six inches of soil across the whole roof. And as a vegetable farmer, I said, we have to try and get more than that because vegetables need more than six inches. So we ended up figuring out what poundage we could handle and then spreading it out in rows to accommodate that. Here we grow lettuce, tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, cucumbers, um, beans, a great variety of vegetables across the, the vegetable spectrum. Uh, we wanted to test everything, see how it would work on the rooftop because it's still sort of started part of the great experiment. We started with this wide range of produce because we weren't sure what would work. And over time we've discovered maybe only two things don't. So next year we're going to have to sort of figure out what works economically and what's been interesting for us. We had difficulty, I think, when we were first establishing the roof and we had to figure out what plants could withstand the wind that comes right up from the south by Wall Street and hits us really hard. But plants are adaptable. If we grow them here on the roof, they grow strong based on how harsh the climate is. The soil drains a little bit quicker than a typical uh, soil out in the country, you know, which might have a little bit of higher of a clay composition. This is a lightweight built to drain. Th to me, there's no additional challenges between being in an urban environment. If anything, I think we have more resources available to get compost and food scraps. And, and the sun is basically the same. If anything, it's great because we get a lot. Of, we get a really strong sun power because there's really no shade up here. The food that we grow here goes in about four different directions. It gets eaten by um, neighbors that come to the market stand on Sundays and buy it, um, or maybe periodically through the week they stop by and pick up little orders, or it goes to restaurants. Uh, I have about three or four consistent restaurants, and then about three or four slightly less consistent restaurants that we just call when we have special things. Well, I really like being on the on the roof and farming. It, it's very free. I'm, I'm my, own, my own boss, and, um, and the community's been extremely energizing as well. All these people that stop by and have ideas and everything. Um, I think one thing that people are surprised by, they, they think they're coming out to the farm and it's going to be some <laughs> totally relaxed afternoon where they do nothing and they don't realize how much actually has to get done here. <laughs> There's definitely a movement in urban agriculture right now, and I think there's many reasons. It's, it's an attempt for people to feel more self-reliant on growing food in their own area where they live in, uh, reduce the transportation and the energy use of trucks coming into the city carrying massive amounts of food. Also, to have their food be fresher and healthier. A lot of the buildings in New York City being flat and open spaces could easily be turned into green roofs. And I think whether it's an incarnation of a green roof with native plants that attract native pollinators, whether it's plants like ours, which are all edible vegetables, there's a lot of potential out there. Anything that gets people to connect to plants makes them smarter about the environment. And if you have a building that has open space and you'd like to install a green roof, I say go for it. Green bean. I'm going to pickle some of these tonight. <laughs>